Our next guest knows all about these groups, uh, these terror groups over in Gaza. He was sanctioned by Iran, which funds a large number of them. Foundation for Defense of Democracies CEO Mark Dubowitz is back with us. Mark, first off, the 10 month old handed off with the four year old. Just think about that the next time you watch these protesters out in the streets for that cause. Tell me about the other subgroups under Hamas in the region. <clears throat> so there are about uh, 12 terrorist organizations, all funded by Iran, operating in Gaza. They all operate together under a, a Palestinian joint no rivals? operations command. You know, they, they compete and coordinate, right? And so they are all, um, they've all been developed by the IRGC, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. They've been funded by, weaponized, and financed by Iran. And they're all operating in Gaza. And Hamas is playing this shell game by claiming that the hostages aren't in its control. But clearly, it's in control of Gaza and it's in control of all these terrorist groups. So they to, they get an extension on the ceasefire or the pause for every 10. You give me 10 hostages, you get another day. Give me 10 hostages, you get another day. Oh, when it comes to this 9-month-old, 10-month-old, we don't know exactly where he is. That gives you more of an extension, unless you don't care about children. That's how they want to play it. Just to give you an idea of some of these groups, one's called, uh, broken down, PLFP, founded in 1967, designated a terrorist organization. Uh, key leaders uh, is a guy named Ahmad Sadat. His funding has to be uh, tangentially from Iran. And they're not heavily armed, but they have enough. Uh, we also know that the Islamic Jihad is in that region. I heard they got so many hostages, they were overwhelmed with the 200 plus they got, and people just grabbed. What do you think is the likely scenario? Look, I, unfortunately, I think the likely scenario is, is a number of those hostages are, are going to be uh, killed. Uh, some of them will be released. Look, it's in Hamas's interest right now to keep extending this emotional uh, warfare that they're practicing against Israel. Right, they not only get uh, a pause, Brian, but they get back three times the number of Palestinians from Israeli jails. By the way, Palestinians, all who've been convicted or arrested for trying to kill Israelis. So right. it's, it's, a, it's a great deal for them, and they want to extend this to a permanent ceasefire, then they can emerge standing and, and the winner of this. Let's stick with this for a second. Iran is behind all of this. Yesterday, they buzzed the USS Eisenhower with a drone. We just warned them that we let that drone go back. Number two, the Houthi terrorists. Over in Yemen, we that that is fi uh, financed by Iran, Hezbollah financed by Iran, Hamas financed by Iran, and we refuse to confront Iran despite the fact that they hit us 74 times through their militia. How hard is this to figure out? What is the what is holding the Biden administration back? So, I mean, Iran is sensing American weakness, American fecklessness, and they know that they can continue to not only threaten us, but threaten our allies. And what's hiding the Biden administration back? It is a Obama administration Iran policy that believes that you can pay off the Iranians, you can bribe the Iranians with tens of billions of dollars, which is what the Biden administration is doing right now, and the, and the Iranians will back off. But of course, the Iranians push forward, they feel American mush, and they keep going. If they feel American steel, they'll back off. Traditionally, they always have backed off. They backed off when they feel American steel. I mean, when right. President Trump killed Qasem Soleimani, for 10 months, the Iranians didn't escalate their nuclear program, and we're afraid of what the president would do. Right. Thanks so much, Mark. You also pointed out uh, in the break that Ronald Reagan sank half their Navy, uh, and that was a great message. Exactly right. Oh, should we go back to those days? Mark, thanks so much.